a very good day children today we are going to discuss question number 4 5 and 7 of exercise 7.1 class 10th mathematics children question number 4 is you have to check whether these three points are the vertices of an isosceles triangle or not this is from exercise 7.1 Let us write down the distance formula. We know that it is the square root of sum of differences of the abscissa square and ordinate square. I will only give hint for this question. As you can easily see. the author is talking about isosceles triangle and these are the three vertices so let us first of all make a triangle and assume these three points as the vertices let the point 5 comma minus 2 is a 6 comma 4 is b and 7 comma minus 2 is c now we will find ab bc and ca and if any two sides are equal we will say it is an isosceles triangle otherwise not so i leave the solution to you children this is question number 5 In a classroom, four friends are seated at the point A, B, C, D, as shown in the figure. Champa and Chameli walk into the class, and of, after observing for a few minutes, Champa asks Chameli, "Don't you think A, B, C, D is a square?" Chameli disagrees. Using distance formula, find which of them is correct. Now, children, let us assume this classroom. as the quadrant 1 of a cartesian plane where both x and y are positive now if i use this system what will be the coordinates of a it will be 3 comma 4 similarly the coordinates of b will be 6 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is 6 comma 7 similarly c will be 9 1 2 3 4 9 comma 4 and the d point will be 6 comma 1 so children to make sure whether this figure is a square or not first you need to find all the sides and the diagonals which we have already discussed in question number 6 earlier so find all the sides and see whether all sides are equal or not if they are equal then go for the diagonals also because only the sides can ensure that it is either rhombus or square but if diagonals are equal then it is a square so this calculation will decide who is correct so i leave homework to you question number 7 kids this i am going to solve he says find the point on the x axis now let us see what type of points are on the x axis now this point we know that it is 1 comma 0 this point will be minus 3 comma 0 and this point is 5 comma 0 so everywhere we i can find one thing that the y part is becoming zero that is ordinate is zero only abscissa is there so in general i can say that any point of on x axis is of the form a comma 0 and this point we will assume as our general point or the required point equidistant means at equal distance 
सो लेट द पॉइंट बी ए कॉमा जीरो नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन ओके लेट अस से गिव सम नेम टू दिस पॉइंट से ए एंड द टू गिवन पॉइंट्स एज से बी टू कॉमा माइनस फाइव एंड सी माइनस टू कॉमा नाइन नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए बी इज इक्वल टू द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए सी वी नो द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला स्केर रूट ऑफ एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू होल स्केयर प्लस वाई वन माइनस वाई टू होल स्केयर वेर एक्स वन वाई वन एंड एक्स टू वाई टू आर द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द टर्मिनल पॉइंट सो इट विल इम्प्लाय स्केर रूट ऑफ ए पॉइंट इज ए कॉमा जीरो सो इट इज ए माइनस टू होल स्केयर प्लस जीरो माइनस ऑफ माइनस फाइव होल स्केयर विच इज इक्वल टू स्केर रूट ऑफ ए माइनस ऑफ माइनस टू होल स्केयर प्लस जीरो माइनस नाइन होल स्केयर नाउ वी विल स्केयर बोथ साइड्स दिस वे दिस स्केयर रूट विल गो ऑफ सो स्केयर रूट has got cancelled so we are left with a minus 2 whole square plus minus minus is plus so it is 5 square a plus 2 whole square plus minus 9 square is same as 9 square because minus square is plus so here we will use the identities a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square which we have studied in class 8th also so it is a square plus b square plus 2ab and similarly a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab so this is a square plus 2 square minus 2 into a into 2 plus 25 a square plus 2 square plus 2 into a into 2 Plus eighty-one. Now I will collect the variables on one side and the pure numbers on the other side. So this will become a square. Two square is four minus four a plus twenty-five. Equal to a square plus four plus four a plus eighty one. So when this a square will come to this side, it will become a square minus a square. Similarly, four minus four minus four a minus four a equal to eighty one minus twenty five. So a square and four got cancelled. So it is minus eight a is equal to fifty six. So a is equal to fifty six divided by minus eight. Don't write it as fifty six plus eight. It is division because the relationship changes, not the sign. So a is minus seven. So our required point is minus seven comma zero. children i have given two three questions after this please do it as homework and do tell me about any query so these are your homework questions best of luck